Could one million girls across sub-Saharan Africa fall pregnant due to COVID-19 lockdowns? Have vaccines never been used to control outbreaks? And did a South African businessman demolish his mother-in-law's house? Welcome to What's Crap on WhatsApp. We are the voice note show that investigates the crap in your WhatsApp groups. I'm Paul McNally from podcasting company Volume. And I'm Kate Wilkinson from Africa Check, the continent's leading fact-checking organization. Let's get fact-checking. So what's first on the list for today, Kate? In August 2020, World Vision International, a Christian relief organization, published a report which estimated that as many as one million schoolgirls across sub-Saharan Africa could be blocked from returning to school due to falling pregnant during COVID-19 school closures. Whoa, let me see. Yeah, this was widely reported in South Africa in November 2020. Now, one of the more worrying numbers coming out of the pandemic is nearly one million girls could be blocked from going back to school because they'd fallen pregnant during this time, a World Vision report. And the headline of an article on online newspaper Herald Live read, Lockdown leads to surge in teen pregnancies. Well, could this alarming figure be actually true? So World Vision said they used Tanzanian data from 2015-16, combined with figures on the increase in pregnancies in Sierra Leone during the 2014 Ebola epidemic. But they did not explain how it used this data to come up with that figure of one million schoolgirls becoming pregnant across the whole region. And there are concerns with the calculation. Okay, lay it out for me. Experts said that first, levels of teenage pregnancy differ across sub-Saharan Africa, and one country statistics may not be representative of the entire region. And second? Second, the data used to calculate an increase in teenage pregnancy should have been gathered from the same area between two different time points. So it should have been quantitative in nature. And what did the experts say? So they agreed that there could be a chance of an increase of teenage pregnancy due to COVID-19 lockdowns. But we don't yet have any studies or data to confirm this. So this claim is unproven. Yeah, there is no credible evidence to support it. Next up, we have a claim by the Kenyan Catholic Doctors Association. It says vaccines have never been used to control outbreaks. What? Surely that can't be true. What did we find? Well, firstly, COVID-19 vaccines are a critical tool of protection against the virus, according to the World Health Organization. Dr. Brenda Kubeka, a clinical risk and ethics expert at Health IQ, a healthcare consultancy in Johannesburg, South Africa, provided an example of another outbreak that needed a vaccine. That was the H1N1 outbreak in the United States from 2009 to 2010. She directed Africa Check to a 2013 study by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention that shows how a vaccine was used to control the outbreak. Let me see. Yeah, the study attributed the effectiveness of the control program to the amount of vaccine that was available earlier in the outbreak. And a clinical virologist with Lancet Laboratories in South Africa also said that vaccines are routinely used to prevent outbreaks of infectious diseases like measles, polio, smallpox, seasonal influenza and H1N1 influenza. Hubeka did add that vaccines alone can never control disease outbreaks and that many other public health interventions are needed. Right. These include preventing transmission, achieving containment, effective surveillance and continuous research. But basically the claim is crap. Complete incorrect crap. What's last on What's Crap on WhatsApp today, Kate? A message online says that a well-known businessman in South Africa demolished the house he built for his mother-in-law. This was after he found out that his mother-in-law knew his wife had cheated on him and that she'd had a baby with another man. What? Let me see. Ah, it even shows a photo of a demolition excavator ripping through the roof of a house. Yeah, one version has been viewed over 1.6 million times so far, and others have garnered views in the tens and hundreds of thousands. Whoa, that is hectic. But of course, is it true? So we did a reverse image search of the picture and found a July 2012 post on a Russian blog. A machine translation of the post suggests that the photo shows a house in the central Russian city of Perm. To disassemble a house where a whole family is registered is a piece of cake in Perm, the translated blog reads. And an extra reverse image search on Tin Eye shows that the picture is a stock photo, which was made available by global agencies like Getty Images and Shutterstock since at least 2013. Whoa, so it is definitely crap then. Total crap. 
That's all the time we have for today. Now you know what's crap and what's not. Your friends and family can sign up for our show over WhatsApp. The number is 082-709-3527. Make sure to save us as a contact on your phone and send us a message to confirm. You can find the show wherever you get your podcasts from Apple to Spotify. If you listen there, you'll find show notes and a link to the fact checks. Remember that you can send us a message that you want fact checked, whether it's a picture, a video, a link or a voice note. Just forward them to us on WhatsApp. Our theme song is composed by John Bartman. I'm Kate Wilkinson. And I'm Paul McNally. Bye for now. Volume.